spiritual defilement explained. Give you, I guess you could say a deeper understanding of what spiritual defilement is. A lot of people ask me this question. And so I was under the assumption that many people knew what this actually meant. But I also have to understand that there are deeper levels to understanding the spirit realm. And so I'm just going to go over, I guess you could say quite a bit of things that I have written down um, and how you can actually become spiritually defiled, as well as explaining just things that, you know, may, you may, it may register with you some of the stuff I'm going to talk about. Okay. All right. So spiritual defilement can come from a wide range of things. First thing I'm going to talk about, well, I'm not going to talk in depth, but it can come from satanic ritual abuse. It can come from witchcraft. It can come from illegal sex. Now, I want to say this too, because a lot of people ask me questions about different, I guess you can say sexual things as it pertains to marriage. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm going to tell you firsthand, God is not approving of illegal sex. OK, and when I say illegal sex, illegal sex, I'm talking about sodomy. OK, so that's what I'm going to leave there. He does not approve of that. He has highlighted that to me with married couples. He's never highlighted anything else. OK, so I'm just going to leave that there. Um, spiritual defilement can come by way of prostitution um, and also sleeping with prostitutes, sex trafficking, incest, molestation, masturbation, um, this is going to be, I guess you can say a little explicit, but letting men ejaculate in your face. Um, sex with animals, bestiality as well, molestation. Oh, I said that already. Um, so I'm going to talk about this. This is very, I think this is going to really spike your interest and just have you say, wow, that's true. Have you ever met a person um, so there's like shows. I'm trying to be very careful with my wordings. And in these shows, a lot of times it's called to catch a predator. And usually this predator is trying to prey on like a really young kid. Do you ever notice that those people look very old? There's a reason for that. They're spiritually defiled. Okay. Um, receding hairlines. A lot of times they'll have. Um, and so there was a 23 year old man that joined my mentorship. OK, he had actually defiled his mentally challenged sister sexually um, on top of other things that he has done. And it shows because he's defiled in the spirit realm and it shows in the natural. All right, I'm going to continue. Um, defilement and curses on their um, you basically put a curse on your own body. Honestly, um, these are the results of sexual immorality. Um, and just doing all of these inappropriate things at a very young age. So these are the things um, that occur when you are spiritually defiled. These are also different things that can cause you to be spiritually defiled. Okay. Um, and so the process to come out of this usually takes three to five years. If you're not connected with the right church, the right apostle, the right ministry, um, you need to really rededicate your life to God, I'm going to say. According to Romans 12 and 1, you also should present your body to Christ, okay, as a living sacrifice. Develop a lifestyle, of course, of praying and fasting. Um, I would suggest if you know that all of these things register with you and you are spiritually defiled by way of any of these things, you should be fasting not anything less than three days, okay, uh, for 12 hours or more. Um, scriptures, I'm going to give you my recommendations, would be Ephesians 3, 16, 17, Colossians 2, 10. Very powerful. Colossians 2.15, Galatians 5.16. Those are some examples, but you can look into this yourself and you can Google other Bible verses that you think will be of great benefit to you. Okay. Um, I would suggest getting to six chapters a day of reading your Bible every day. OK, six to 10 chapters, honestly, a day. Um, and so do you know that you will go through mass deliverance just by reading a lot of the Bible every day, allowing that Bible to get into your spirit? And let me just tell you this. I did not say let it play on YouTube all night long. I said you actually reading it yourself. And please don't nobody comment and say you love Psalms 91. Lukewarm religious Christians love Psalms 91. The Bible is full, filled with so much powerful revelation. I am not. 
not um, telling you don't quote Psalms 91, but the people that say they love Psalms 91, that Bible verse don't even work for them. That Bible verse says, he that dwelt in the secret place of the most high shall abide on the shadow of the almighty. He that dwelleth in the secret place. You have to actually dwell in the secret place to get them Bible verses to work for you, your family and all of that, who you quote that over every single day. Okay. And so I just want to talk. I wanted to speak on this because there's many reasons why you will be spiritually defiled. Many reasons why you would be spiritually defiled. And so, um, but I just named off quite a few that I'm sure more than 98% of you have experienced, done, and have, you know, went through in your life, right? So witchcraft was a big one. A lot of people participate in sodomite style sex, okay? Prostitution. Um, everyone is not sex traffic, okay? But prostitution. And so I want you to understand some too. Prostitution does not necessarily mean you're standing on the corner, okay? If you've ever exchanged or taken money from a man in exchange for sex, that is prostitution. So it does not mean that you're standing on a corner. I just wanted to make mention of that because um, a lot of us like to hide our background and the things that we have done, okay? So please watch this video. If this video registers with you, do the things that I called out at the end of this video. As always, I'm gonna tell you, I have so much powerful content on here and on YouTube. I even have a very good video on YouTube. Um, it's called Fasting God's Way. It's a, it's, it's a year old, but you can definitely uh, find it on YouTube, all right? My YouTube is also, the link is in my bio.